today is Top Smallest Animals Part 2. Wow, I love it, Ben. Go ahead. What's number one? Number one is Bumblebee Bat. Bumblebee Bat. Bumblebee okay. Bat are also called Bee Bat, which is the smallest mammal existed. Also, this has been said, Bumblebee Bats are also fast in nature, but in captivity, they are not that fast. Researchers said that Bumblebee Bee Bats don't just organize fruits, but also they collect honey, like bumblebees do. Mm -hmm. But that is not the case. Some searchers said bumblebee bats can also make the resistance of what type of honey, wax, and other things that make from it already been named by the species of what they are made. Whoa, sounds easy, huh? They are smart? Uh, not exactly. Also, bumblebee bats don't see well. They, they see in mosaic mm -hmm. and also and also blind visions. Mm -hmm. So they cannot look easily. Number three. No, I mean number two. Book Docrygia micra chameleon. Mm -hmm. This is a long name, also known as the horned chameleon or the horned Bacrisia chameleon. It is also quite said the horn of this chameleon is in a tiny situation. The horns detect all keratin and melanin in the big ones, but the mm -hmm. little ones just even more of them. Mm -hmm. So space and tight space don't crack too. Also, we did have said that all keratin and melanin can be fit in the tree horns of these little guys. Wow, they're candy, all amazing. The keratin will be one awesome in the big horn, and melanin, which is the bigger okay. one, the one will be small. Uh, not exactly what you think. Also, Lucretia micro chameleons are about the size of your fingernails. What? Yes, that's pretty true. Mm -hmm. These tiny little guys can only fit in your fist. Also in a coin. Ah. But it's also followed by wolfy octopus. The wolfy octopus is also called the ringed wolf, which is a type of octopus. Because ringed no, I mean this wolfy octopus can invite its friends, no, I mean tree friends, on a nice sitting coin. Mm. Wow, I think these, you know, tree guys don't want to get any candy, but they also can hang out there, you know. These guys are also called water hibernators, which is they hibernate from from a million times what they are expecting. Wow, these little mm -hmm. guys are sure tough. Mm -hmm. Well, it sure is tough. When you pl place little silver rocks on their head, they don't crash because they're in vertebrates and no bones, no hind, back, and also f front, back, the bones. No, they are super duper tough like tar grains, but it's a dip. Mm -hmm. You know, strange. No, they don't have. Four, pea crabs. This crab is about the size of a pearl or a pea, you know. Well, not pea, like, you know, the moisture that you get from your cut or rubber. <sighs> well, that's not exactly what we think. But now, the pea crab has little claws. The, s the smallest eyes. What? No, not really the smallest. Mm -hmm. And also a, a small hard shell. Pea crabs have a amount of energy, but they are not as happy what you think. Mm -hmm. They crabs always turn happy, but sometimes they don't. Because they're always frowning in a day each and more, mm. more, 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 
learn more. Okay. What about number five? Pedro Queen Amalensis Frog. Wow. This is also That's called. Very the, long name. It is also called the smallest frog ever existed. Oh, frog! It is even the this frog is is smaller than your unaided eye. Oh yeah. Yes. It can be difficult, but also scientists said that this is even smaller than any fork you could find in your hair. Well, Are you sure? Well, not actually, but that's only what it's not the case. Mm -hmm. Also, it has been said that this could also fit in a coin, like those wolfy octopuses, what I told you. Okay. Uh, well, not too. Over next, number six. Stout infant fish. This mm -hmm. smallest fish is also called the stouter, which is a stouted fish. Mm -hmm. These stouted fish have no teeth at all. No teeth? Yeah, but they Ooh. still have bones. I told you, no bones means no teeth. But mm -hmm. they have bones, but no teeth. Mm -hmm. But also, they could also bite. What they like is just shrimps, like virgins, mm -hmm. and also even krill algae bubbles, and also what they like, tube sponges. Mm -hmm. I don't like tube sponges, they're hard. Wow! You know, you know, also they can bite harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number seven, the Indian red scorpion. Indian red scorpions have been around when the dinosaurs just roamed the earth. Oh yeah? Also, Just what already long time ago then? Yes. They already did. exist. Also, they're still alive today. The dinosaurs went extinct for 65 million years ago. Mm -hmm. But these red scorpions are, let's just say they are uh, already here. They have a big claw and could easily snack on your little nail. Not, you know, the whole hair, that's pretty ouchy. And not your nerves will get air moved yet. Not, not that kind of situation. These bites are the worst. Mm -hmm. It's like five lions biting you. Mm -hmm. Or like you're walking on burning coals. Mm -hmm. Or it's just like you're falling from... 1,700 feet above the mm -hmm. air. Wow. This is super duper duper hurt. If it's, you know, 1,075 feet above the air, then mm -hmm. you got a mile, a mile away, you need a parachute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not probably cloudy. Okay. Also, you don't want it fishing. If you drop from that feet, then air will suffocate from the nostrils. They told me earlier. Okay, man, this looks interesting. Next to number eight. Irukandi jellyfish. It's also mm. called the smallest jellyfish. Also, oh. the polyp. Is upstairs down or not? Uh, not exactly. Irukandi jellyfishes start the polyp upside down. Mm -hmm. But when they're fully grown, they're in above ratio. Okay. Also, it is have said that these polyps and also larvae, the Irukandi jellyfish larvae and polyp have tentacles and stinging cell arms. Mm -hmm. Wow, maybe they could sting from the seafloor. Uh, well, you might think the seafloor is a gravity, but they only reach above this feet, which is not against. Because they are no longer existing. Mm -hmm. But also, some Yurukani jellyfishes exist today. Mm. But also, there's the Yurukani jellyfish thing. It's just like, hey, you already know. 1,075 feet above the air drops. Oh, yeah? Why, well, yeah, that really hurts. It's just like you're falling from the roof of a skyscraper. Uh, I mean, okay. skyscraper. Number nine. Patu digwas. The patapu, I mean, the patu digwas is the smallest spider ever known. 
down. Mm -hmm. Also, we said that bees don't bite humans. But when you're angry or, you know, swap a newspaper to them, they might exactly bite you. So, be unsure if it's a tiny spider, don't swap it with your old mm -hmm. comic newspaper. Mm -hmm. Or they will get worse. Bite you. Whoa. Okay, number 10. The last one. Number 10 is tardigrade. Ooh. The tardigrade is the toughest animal existed. And also with that strange Toughest animals. animal? If you take one of these, it will survive when you cut it, blast it into space, boil it in lava, or even they will survive when you drop them from the roof of the Empire State Building, Burj Khalifa, and the Jeddah Tower. Wow, this, this is an mm. amazing creature. I would say it can jump more than five Burj Khalifas. Uh, we're not talking about skyscrapers today, because super duper tall. You know, like the tardigrades, very, very small, and like real stick, later tardigrades cannot mind anything. Well, sure, they can survive really good. Because mm -hmm. tardigrades can even survive 500 billion days in Antarctica. But that is not true. Researchers said that tardigrades only can survive a little day. Because mostly, tardigrades only live for two years. Oh, only two years and then die? Well, not exactly. Because if you make them in extreme conditions, they will jump up into 100 years. Oh, just like the how come? Lot. How come it's very different from 2 years to 100 years? Because they have extreme conditions which can last on even when they're boiling in lava. What? So this is even a drop. So they're very strong even though it's very hot. But only the heat of the lava, not mm. the boiling of the lava. Also, it is having said that, that some of astronauts make them blast into space and they survive. Mm -hmm. Also, they can survive for 30 years without oxygen, food, water, wow. and even starvation. Wow, starvation, wow. or even death. Thank this you so much, Benjamin. Wait, we have an oh. animal left. See? It's number 11. Okay, that's the last one. My My Red Day, also called Fairy Fly Wasp. What is that? What this animal is that? have powerful wings which can carry three small hard rocks. It can also be said in a whole day they could even sleep without any trouble. Mm -hmm. Wow, I bet these little guys are super powered or they could live many years ago and humans were in today and these flies were in yesterday. Uh, not exactly they comment. Also, it is said fairy flies mm -hmm. can survive anatomic boom. Mm -hmm. Not anatomic. Anatomic is just like samples. Mm. Not anatomic. If it's aromatic, then it was in real, not exam, mm. not examples. Okay, now have you got all the animals? Okay, Benjamin, thank you so much for part one. Yes. See you. Not part one, part two. Oh, sorry, part two. Bye bye. Bye, and this is the last part of host animals. Okay.